Hi friend, this is a Proco Rat. It's a great distortion pedal. It's definitely a classic. I actually owned one in the 80s and I just hated it. I was very immature tone-wise at the time. It's turned into one of my favorites. I've built one in the past, but we're going to make one today. And I know you could get one for around 70 bucks at the music store, brand new in the box, but we're going to apply some modifications and just have fun with it. If that sounds good, join me. All right, let's fire up Eagle, get started. We are going to right click on projects, new project. I call that rat. We are going to right click on that new schematic. All right. I will have a link in the description uh, for the schematic. You can print it out and follow along. Let me know in the comments if you would rather me just to cut out me making the schematics or fast forward it like I have been doing. Um, I don't know if either way benefits. So let me know, let me know what you think. We're gonna get our power supply in order first. Here's our nine volt. And it's gonna look mostly like the last one. When uh, there's a low value resistor on the schematic, I like to put an R in it so it's so you know it's a resistor. It's just a convention I like to stick to. Okay, this is going to be our first use of supply pins. It's just a good idea to mark where your voltages are coming from when you have it hooked up in more than one spot. Uh, it just makes things clearer. So let's show you how this is done. We're gonna go into our homespun supply. We're just gonna use VA, that's voltage A. And I like to mark it with some text so I know which one's which. So I'm going to say plus 9 volts. Put that right there. And you'll see right here, this one's going through a, what's called a voltage divider. And since they're both going to be the same value of 100K ohms, it's going to split the voltage in half. So 9 volts will turn into 4.5 volts. All right, and we're going to put that here. We're going to call that voltage reference B. All right, our power supply is done. Sometimes I like to make a modification to the voltage divider. Just because there's some tolerance differences here, sometimes this voltage could get a little bit off. Uh, what I'd like to do is add a trim pot in here. Let me show you how I do it. Let's see, I'm gonna put this trim pot right here. See, now you could adjust that trim pot and get that voltage exactly where you need it to be. Um, we're going to leave that in. We'll probably change these values, uh, lower these a slight bit. So we put a, maybe a 10K pot in here and uh, just so it, everything equals out. Uh, we'll work with that later, but right now the power supply is done. 
Okay, I'm just going to go into fast forward and finish up this schematic and we'll talk about it when I get done. And we're back. I'm using the camera on my phone and I forgot to set it to airplane mode. So it cut the video off, but I was still able to do the schematic. I did it in quick motion. And then I saved an image of it. There's a link to the image in the description below. You'll be able to print this out. And if you follow me through the Trouble Booster build in the last videos, you'll already have Eagle set up and you'll know how to lay out the schematic. If you haven't, click the card up here and watch that first episode first. Um, we're going to do some mods to this next time. If you have any suggestions or questions, drop a comment. Hey, thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it.